So hello guys, we are back for another new tutorial. This is Anjan Gadachara de Rosario and I'm gonna be teaching you or demonstrating to you on how to operate our past GT stern tube system. So this is a ship's stern tube system. Um, to show you how to operate the scenario, uh, let me go ahead and click F1 to start the exercise. Okay, so we're running. So we have 35 minutes to fulfill you the assessment. You will have 35 minutes to fulfill the assessment. So 35 minutes is um, plenty of time. We have a plenty, uh, plenty of time to finish and get a high score in this um, particular scenario. So our operational planning first is we need to switch on the stern tube blue oil pumps 1 and 2. So in order to do that, we need to click in both of this um, in our breaker or switchboard in starters. Then after that, we're going to open our low temperature freshwater stern tube shutoff valve. So we, where we can see that? Where can we see that rather? So we can see that here in our freshwater system, MD10. Okay. So that valve is this. We need to open that. And this one too. So in our MD10, we need to open two valves. This one and this one. Next is uh, open our um, makeup pump. to On MD54 uh, here, we should normalize our stern tube lube oil level. So we need to have this, um, since this is the main sump tank, we need to fill this first. Okay? So do not um, do anything in our high gravity tank or in our low gravity tank unless this is at the right or at the normal um, level. Because both of these tanks will get their oil from this uh, main tank. So we need at least 50% for us to be able to um, normalize our two tanks here. So if you, can, if you would click our alarm, uh, alarm page, you can infer or you can see here that we have four um, alarms. These alarms are both, uh, we're all low level alarm. Okay? Low level alarm is lahat. And basically, if you can normalize uh, everyone here, you should get the highest score. So after um, after starting our makeup pump in our lube oil sump tank, we need to open our isolation valve or our stern tube seal sealing isolation valve. So just open this. Okay. So in all, in order to normalize our high gravity tank, we need to on these pumps. You can either use one or both. In my case, I use I use both of the pumps. And then in order to normalize our low gravity tank, we need to change over our three-way valve. But before we do that, we need to again normalize our main pump, uh, main tank. So you can observe here that our um, pressure difference in our stern tube lube oil is at low level. So negative 18.90 bars. So why is that? It is because it's not um, having enough oil from the supposed tank. So basically it's just sucking air. 
So it will be negative in the negative um, level or low level. So it will be normal later on once we fill this both uh, both of these tanks. Okay, so even though it indicates normal here in our level of a main tank, uh, do not open this pumps unless it will uh, at least 50%. That's very important. Okay. So we're just like killing time with this. So our first, uh, first in our plant monitoring, we need to secure or we need to normalize our stern tube lobe oil pressure differential pressure. Okay, this one. We need to normalize. This is our first goal. We need to normalize this. After here, so we're we're almost at fifty percent. And we still have a lot of time. Okay. So the tendency if you do not, if you forgot to open this valve, there's a big possibility that you will have a, uh, what we call, stern tube lube oil leakage. And once, once uh, the scenario will, or the simulator will tell you that you have an oil leakage, game over, you will definitely fail and the scenario will freeze automatically once you have an oily cage. So we need to avoid that. So you do not forget to open our isolation, our seal ring isolation valve. So we're almost at 50%. Uh, Again, this is 35 minutes. If you um, exit early, before for 35 minutes it will deduct your score so just wait for it to freeze and then f3 to stop okay as you can see we're 50 percent right so it's okay now if it reaches 50 percent do not close our makeup valve yet okay just open these two pumps and it will fill up the high gravity tank. Okay, so our pressure here is normal automatically. So just like the main uh, main tank, we need to at least ha have a 50% level of our high gravity tank. Same also here in our low gravity tank. So the next um, in our plant monitoring, we should have a normal aft stern tube bearing temperature. And then we should have a normal four stern tube bearing temperature. Okay, we only have three. But you don't have to, uh, to worry about our aft and four stern tube bearing temperature. If you can perform this correctly, uh, uh, step by step, you can, we can achieve a normal temperature. Okay? So we're almost 50% at least 50% and then change over 
it's so easy just just do the procedure uh, correctly so we can change over now so you can observe here that when i changed over and then i didn't change over here in uh, our tank outlet it will it will uh, fast or quickly drain our high gravity tank. So what I need you to do is change over this too, so that it would um, stay in a normal level. Okay. If you change over this uh, three-way valve, change over this one too. So do not close your makeup pump yet. And then let this reach 50% at least and then change over again. So in this case, we're not going to use our low gravity tank. So as you can see, when we're using our low gravity tank, we received a low level alarm of our, our negative pressure in our low lube oils um, a different, a differential pressure. So we need to avoid that. So we need to use our high gravity tank. In that in that way, we're going to achieve our normal differential pressure. So both of the our tanks is in normal range, but we still have to make this level go to fifty percent. That is the purpose of not letting this um, stop yet. If you reach 50%, um, we can put this, uh, we can put both of the pumps to auto. Okay. Oh, I forgot. We need to open this pala. So in the beginning of our exercise, we need to open this first. When we open our fresh water, I forgot. You need to open that. But anyways, it will still do its work. So we can now put this in auto. So that it can... Um, the purpose of our automation in our pump is to regulate our high gravity tank level so this is the one or these are the ones who will regulate our level here so that we don't have to monitor it over and over again the tendency the tendency if you put this onto manual it will definitely not stop um into getting higher at a higher level so you will receive a high level alarm because it will turn full so you need to put this in auto. It's very important. So as you can see, when it reaches 94, it went down to 93, 92, then go back to 94. The reason for that is that our pumps is doing its regulating. Okay. So we are at 35% in our main uh, sump tank, low oil sump tank. When it reaches 50%, we can stop our pump. Again, I forgot to open this earlier, but this these are one of the first valves to open. Okay, do not forget. So one of the um, plant efficiency is that no stern tube lube oil leakage. If you will have this alarm, game over, Jud. Your scenario will freeze and your, um, your exercise will stop.
definitely stop and you will automatically uh, you will automatically fail okay so still we are at a normal pressure positive pressure 3.15 bars So lastly, before I stop this um, guy, uh, tutorial, I need to tell you that uh, later on, like it will, it will go to like twenty-five or thirty-minute mark. You will receive a malfunction, so you need to rectify that. So what is that malfunction? This malfunction is that. The lube oil color is dirty. Ito. Magiging dirty ito. So, the only way to rectify that is to reset this stern tube lube oil color dirty. Uh, the third one. So, you need to reset that. Just click multiple times. Just that. That's it. In my case, I need, uh, if I really want to have a high score, from time to time, I do that, even though it doesn't appear. I need to reset that. There's no harm done when you just click how many times. There's no harm done. You can do that. So we are at our 53. So close your makeup valve. Okay? So we, we finished our operation in just... 16 minutes and we still have like 20 minutes more to complete the assessment so we we have a lot of time but i'm not going to finish this the 35 minutes since this is the last step all you need to do is just monitor and do not ever do not ever um click f3 if your 35 minutes is not yet done okay do not leave early do not stop this exercise early that's it so i hope this um, video helped you in any way so good luck